Students at a San Bernardino County High School are supposed to take off on a trip to Japan this weekend. Yeah, but some parents have decided to keep their kids at home because of the coronavirus, of course. Still, the school has yet to officially cancel that trip. KCO9 Inland Empire reporter Nicole Comstock is live in Grand Terrace tonight with more on this story. Nicole? Yes, yeah, Susie and Jeff, just yesterday, Japan announced its biggest one day spike in new coronavirus cases since the start of this outbreak. So there are plenty of parents in Grand Terrace tonight who want to know why this school isn't telling students and teachers not to go on this trip anymore. Aaron Massey really wanted to go to Japan with his classmates and teachers from Grand Terrace High School. It was hard to take it. It still kind of is, honestly. But his dad isn't letting him go on the trip this weekend. They are not concerned about the well being of the students. Haroon is upset that the school hasn't outright canceled the trip amid the rapidly evolving situation with the coronavirus. Tuesday, Japan confirmed 59 new cases of the potentially fatal disease. But I still have all my friends going and I don't know what's going to happen with them. The Colton Joint Unified School District told us they can't cancel the trip, writing there is a group of students planning to take a trip to Japan over spring break, but the trip is not district sponsored or endorsed and is being organized outside of our authority. I believe that they are hiding. However, Aaron's uncle, a former public health doctor, we could put these kids at a real jeopardy, showed us that school email addresses have been used to send parents information about the trip. He also says they've held meetings about it on campus. There has not been transparency in this whole issue. It turns out a company called EF Educational Tours is organizing the trip. They told us they're offering travel vouchers to parents who want to reschedule the trip because of the coronavirus, but say several teachers and students are still choosing to go. Their website also tells teachers if they enroll just six students, their spot is covered. Now I know why they do it every year, because they're always free. Kristen Kendall isn't letting her daughter go anymore either. She says teachers and students are now saying they're ganging up on the school to ruin the trip. To say these things about us as concerned parents is disheartening. The parents we spoke with tonight say they don't trust this company anymore and they want a full refund for their trips. They also said they want to know what safety protocols the school here has in place for whenever any of those teachers and students come back who do end up going on this trip. Reporting live in Grand Terrace, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. Nicole, thank you.